Let's talk about pink sapphires today. This video is made for one of my clients who's looking for a center stone for her ring making. The most important to understand with pink sapphires is the setting that you're going to put the pink sapphire in. If you're going to put the pink sapphire in yellow gold setting, you will see a little bit of oranges. If you're going to put the pink sapphire in rose uh, gold setting, you will see a little bit more intense rose or um, red in the stone. If you're going to put the pink sapphire in white gold you will not see um, any of the color difference in the stone however you will see a slight silver lining this is normal because the setting will also give a color off and your pink sapphire will show it so this is number one thing to understand is to choose the right setting uh, number two thing to understand is that pale pink sapphires the beautiful pastel sapphires that you see that are so popular right now that are in many many different um, settings and a lot of different photos you can see through instagram and youtube videos the most important to understand about very pink pale sapphires is that they look gorgeous when they're on the white background but once they're on your skin or in the setting of your desired ring or pendant the setting will take over. So if you have a very pink pale sapphire and you're going to put it into a setting, you will see all those other colors from the setting inside your stone. This is very important to understand. Or you will have to go with a setting that's a little bit higher up so that the stone is showing itself rather than um, a setting through the stone. The most important thing to understand is that pink pale sapphires tend to look white from far. And so when you are choosing a pink pale sapphire and it might look so gentle and rosy and gorgeous from the photos, make sure it has enough of the pink color to show in your desired setting. Otherwise, you will be disappointed when you put that stone in the setting because it will tend to look just plain white because the setting will take over with the intensity of colors of the setting um, the gold colors are so intense that sometimes the pink pale stones do not show as well when they're so pale so that's my advice if you're going for that pastel look just please go with a little bit of pink the first stone that i'm going to show you is pale pink stone transparent uh, it's got great quality at BS, but it has enough pink that if you put it into a setting, it will be gorgeous. It will be that pink pale ring with just enough pink to go with the stone. Um, the second ring is more peachy pink, I would say. Um, also very gorgeous, got some more inclusions than the first stone. You could see some of the bubbles on the last photo, but still very beautiful. I would say a lot darker from the first stone. It's got a little bit of more peachy side to it. So it's a warmer stone, not a colder one. The third stone is a cold pink stone. It reminds me of cotton candy look, but it really does look a little bit like cotton candy. It is pale enough, but the pink, as you can see, is more uniformed. So it has a little bit of a different cut with a lot of facets. And that's why you can see a lot of sparkle in the stone. And you can see that it's pink, but very um, uniform pink. So whereas stone number one, you could see through. So it's got that pale look, but it will have that transparency and not as much sparkle. With the third stone, you're going to get a lot of sparkle because of the way the facets of the stone are cut. But it is a more of a cold pink stone with this very interesting cotton candy to it. So these are the three stones that I have um, for my client to choose from. They're all very, very different. And um, I would say that you can choose any of these and put it into a beautiful setting. Just have to make sure that whoever you're working with, that's for all the people out there that are shopping for a pink sapphire, you have to make sure that the stone is placed right so that surrounding the stone would only be the claws that are holding the center stone and nothing else because this is very important the more open the setting is for pink sapphires the better you will see the color the better it will show this is the kind of stone that you really want to surround with nothing but a simple setting or simple claws if you do want to add diamonds make sure you add them to the bend or somewhere where you can't see them through the stone Guys, this is Margarita Skypen with Miami Jewels and Magnons. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
subscribe to our channel for more videos about stones, settings, and jewelry in general.